welcome to the Frozen Movie Review. <laughs> Might I just say, wow. I do believe this is one of the best movies I've seen. Um, definitely from, uh, or not definitely, but mainly because Disney did a great job. The starting of it was great. It had a whole bunch of music, it had a whole bunch of vocals, and then it opened to a grand musical song about ice. I wasn't sure why they wanted to do that. I mean, they could have done different... If there was an alternate version of the beginning, I would have stuck to it. <laughs> because this one didn't quite, you know, help me understand why they decided to do that. But I guess it was the only way to introduce Kristoff. I suppose it was, um, but it, all right, I have to admit, it was a great way to introduce Kristoff, and it also helped to understand the situation between the two sisters, um, but I, the whole song just threw me way off guard, you know, I honest, I didn't really know what to expect for the beginning, but hey, <laughs> um, but the, all the songs in this movie are amazing. The only song that's done by a different actor or actress that's not, you know, the actual character voice is Demi Lovato, which is during the credits. I, 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 at least that's what I think. I tried to pay attention to the soundtracks and the credits list and when the credit was rolling. But uh, throughout the movie, I realized, you know, there's more than just one villain. Um, and that includes, you know, her sister Elsa, uh, Anna's sister Elsa. It's just incredible, you know, um, like, uh, there, it's really interesting because, like, in the end, it, the actual villain of the movie is someone you completely did not expect. I should have known considering I'm a writer, you know, and I, I guess this is my first time, you know, looking at, watching a movie in a, in an author's perspective and a writer's perspective, because, you know, I've never really paid attention to that stuff, you know, until a couple years ago, or not a couple years ago. I just say ever since my sister Anna hated the Percy Jackson's Lightning Thief movie, she didn't like it at all. She thought everything in that movie was raw and pathetic. My favorite characters in basic movies like this are the comic reliefs. <laughs> and, this, and the comic relief in this film would be the snowman, Olaf. He's just short and cute and is always talking about his body. <laughs> Eddie thinks that snow does not melt in summer. Which is adorable, but sad. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, so Elsa is not the only villain in the movie. Um, uh, you can actually tell right away after she leaves her uh, kingdom. And then the third, I actually found, you know, third villains, three villains in this movie, and the third one is completely unexpected. I love it, though, because it definitely helps condense, you know, the amount of main characters in this film. It's just amazing, you know. And what, reading uh, who was in the in this movie, in the credits list, I realized um, the, the second villain is the Duke. At least I think he's the Duke. And watching... I read the credits list, and oh my gosh, my eyes widened when I saw the name Alan Tudyk. Okay, I need to watch Frozen again. <laughs> I would gladly love to own a DVD of this. Uh, but that's that's because I'm biased on Alan Tudyk. He's a great actor. Every everyone in this every actor and actress in this movie did a great job, though. I I am really impressed with how the movie turned out. Um, my only concern is. They didn't tell how Elsa got her 
power, which I was waiting for them to explain that throughout the entire film. It just didn't make sense of how she could have this and her sister has nothing. It, I just, I was confused about it, you know. But in the end, you know, it turns out, I'm not going to spoil it. I am trying to make sure I don't make you guys judge on on the ending of this. But I am, I've got to say, anyone who's anyone can watch this. There's adult humor, there's kids humor. Although while I was watching this, hardly any kids laughed. Well, I mean, they did laugh, but um, people my age and older laughed even more. Which, to me, is kind of awkward, because this is, this is supposed to be a kid's film, you know. I hope you get to watch Frozen and love it as much as I do. Because, first of all, I love musicals. The entire movie is a musical, and any I'm also biased on musicals. I will watch anything. If it if it's I will watch any movie if it's a musical. Honestly, fan of the opera, 1776, anything. Love struck. Um, well, except for High School Musical. Most musical movies I watch besides High School Musical really have a purpose to why they sing out loud randomly. Other than that. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Bye, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed watching and listening. And, yeah, I hope you all get to watch Frozen.